In this video, I will do a short introduction about chapter three and what you will learn in this chapter, and also what is the learning objective of this chapter. So this chapter is your first introduction to market behavior and the intricacy of the market mechanism. And uh, actually, we actually you will see many intricacy economic models. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing, but if you pay attention on that, you will find it's very easy and very useful. So it is very helpful to continue to answer the basic question of what, how, and for whom, and to briefly outline how the market system answers them. So this chapter has an ex explicit focus on the allocative and disruptive function of the price system. So the section on disequilibrium pricing such as price ceiling and floors, uh, they provide an opportunity to illustrate the implication of the interference with the market pricing mechanism. So which means how the price ceiling and the price floor were messed up. We call it messed up, uh, quote, end quote, messed up. Uh, the, the, the market mechanism. So this introduction sets the general direction of this chapter so which is to look at how the market system answered the following questions. What determine the price of the goods and services? And how does the price of the product affect its production and consumptions? And why do prices and production level often change? So those are the three core issues we try to answer. So after learning this chapter, and you should be able to know the nature and the determinants of the market demand and the market supply and how market price and quantities are established, and what caused market price to change. And lastly, you will know how government price control affect market outcome. So first of all, what we'll, uh, you will watch uh, learn in the next video is about the um, uh, introduction of this chapter and the market participants.